really is difficult to believe just how saturated the ground is here. This is on top of a hill at 130 metres and there's just standing water in the fields. It's really quite amazing. It's been a very wet winter. Um, certainly the last couple of months have anyway, ever since the, uh, the big dump of snow and since then there's been a lot of rain and not a lot of sunshine. I'm at mile 14 now and I'm walking towards Tetford and Warden Hill where I might camp for the night. There's a nice secluded spot there. But it's turning out to be a really nice walk actually. Uh, it's good to do long walks in the local area. You probably can't see this very well because it's dark, but I'm lighting up my cricket tarp with my head torch. This is my um, my stop for the night. Uh, I've made it to 18 miles of my journey, and I've uh, pitched up next to a stream behind a wood. Nice secluded little spot. It's basically the first place I've found where the ground isn't absolutely sopping wet. Um, but it's actually quite a nice little spot, so I'll top up with water in the morning and um, and I'll head home. Oh, good morning. This is where I stayed the night, uh, edge of a field, next to a little stream where I'll be topping up with water in a moment. It's a surprisingly noisy spot. A lot of pheasants, there was a nest of owls, I think, making a god-awful racket roe deer barking. Kind of nice to be surrounded by the sounds of nature. I did actually sleep fairly well. It's a bit misty this morning, no sunrise to speak of. I've got about uh, 18 miles left before I get home. This is a place called Forest Wood in Wellvale. Very, very quiet, apart from the birds. And look at these amazing beech trees. I had no idea they were here. I've only been here once before. The track goes down a hill to a river at the bottom. Um, it's obviously not particularly old or wild wood, but it is nice to find something that feels like proper nature in the agricultural countryside of Lincolnshire.